Hi there, need to learn how to make changes to a PowerPoint design ideas slide? Let me help. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your skills with office applications. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and any links I mention in this video you can find linked in the description box below. So, let's look at how to make changes to a design ideas slide in PowerPoint. I'll show you how to change the format of the slide and then I'll show you a workaround for moving and resizing parts of the design slide. Right, if you're like me, you probably love, love, love these design ideas. So I'm in PowerPoint, uh, this is the PowerPoint desktop version of Office 365 and um, if I just come over to design ideas over here, of course this, I just use this all the time. I, I do not mind telling you that I'm not creative. I know what I like when I look at it and see it. Um, so I skim through these all the time, kind of like looking for slides that are going to make my um, PowerPoint presentation have a little bit more pizzazz. So you can see this is one of the design ideas here. Um, but what I found when I started to use these, and this is obviously the same as you because you wouldn't be watching this video otherwise, um, is that I wanted to make changes to the elements that were on the screen but I couldn't select them. So I kind of started thinking about it and I thought, well, hang on a minute, maybe if I go up and use my selection pane, so I'm on the home tab, and if you just go up to um, the editing area over here, go to select and go to selection pane and turn it on. I thought maybe that might be helpful and it was perfect. <laughs> so I'll just explain what this does. It allows you to select the objects on screen. What you can do is you can click onto each one of these and you'll see as I'm doing that, can you see that it's actually selecting the element that's inside of the design ideas slide. So if I wanted to say for example change that oval there, the colour of it is pretty simple. All I need to do is just go and obviously grab a different colour for it or we'll just go for orange and look it allows me to do it. So that's really simple. All you need to do is just make, make your way through and find the bits that you're actually wanting to change and then just change them. Now you will notice though that you can't actually move them or resize them. And that can be a bit of a pain. So the, you, you can be creative. Say you didn't want that dot there and you're trying to actually get rid of it. So if I go over here and click on it, press my delete key, there we go, you can get rid of it. Um, but if I want to resize it, it's a little bit different. So if I go over here and try and resize, and even if I, oops, I'll come over and click on it again. Even if I go to the shape format, you'll see that the size and the width, unfortunately, they're not available. So, um, and it, it, this isn't too bad for this slide, but when I come to this slide, of course you can see that this bit down here is kind of over my name, which isn't useful. So what I can do is I can just make my way through looking for that piece, that's that one there. And this is what I've been doing, and if anybody knows a better workaround, please put it in the comments. Um, but if you press your delete key and get rid of it, and then what I've been doing is I've then just been making my way through and obviously going and grabbing another shape and popping it on there and making sure that it just sits where I want it to be. So it's above that information and then just making it the colour that I wanted it to be as close as I possibly could. Could use the colour picker of course if you needed to. You know, down here the eyedropper, just go and grab the colour that you want. So if I go and grab that and you can see now it's actually the right colour oh, with a border around it. Of course you can actually go then and there's no outline. And I'm kind of now, I've fixed it because that's okay for this slide. Unfortunately, it's not going to change every slide. You'll have to go and do that manually. But hey, it's a workaround and it'll work. So again, just going over that, just remember all you need to do is make sure that you have your selection pane on. Select what you need. Just click onto what you need. Change it to whatever you want it to be. And you're good as gold. So, I really hope this instruction has been helpful and you are now able to make the changes you need. Just remember to use the selection pane for quick formatting changes and maybe replace parts that aren't useful with your own elements. Now, if this has been helpful, please hit the like button and please let me know in the comments below. And if you use PowerPoint and want to stay connected, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because we're sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.